entangled. My place is here. A few roots and some leaves are all I need for me to exist here. I am surrounded by several souls that, like me, long to grow old. They want something to climb or hold on to. I, however, have a special power, you see. I am able to withstand time and transport anyone to a place, even you. I watch these trees grow from saplings to evergreens. I have been many places and seen many things. How do you travel so far if you are confined to a single spot in time? Simple. The world came to me. Around the far side of my trunk, there is a heart carved into it with the initials N plus D. I don't quite remember them, but they remember me. Every so often they would come here, climb around and over the branches, and I would smile as they radiate their affection with their glances. On my left side, there is a tire swing, attached to my strongest arm. I get to watch the grandparents and their children's children play as they did when they wanted a moment of calm. There are a few other parts where I have seen the hardest of hearts fall apart. To grant them security, I will bend with the wind to shadow them and protect them from the rain and the bitter breeze. For a tree that was planted in 1953, I feel like I've seen many things. The times have changed. So did the people. Even the old park benches have now been moved to the front of the church steeple. For every face I meet, in that moment I grow a little taller as their world and mine intertwines. As I see generations of people that pass in Central Park, with a single touch, I bring about a budding memory to mind. It is the thought that through this way I am able to travel through time. Now that you and I have shared some time, we now have formed a bond. No matter where you go, I will be here and the memories we share now will live on. Just think that if you could see yourself, if you were a tree, I hope that next time you are in the park, you will look for me.